Good morning, folks. We've got looks at our star, including a sunspot group growing fairly rapidly this morning. We'll take a peek at a weather event and then hit two topics relating to the solar system shift and magnetic inversion of Earth, one from long ago and one from just last month. We are starting, as always, with our star, and we find the last 24 hours was a bit calmer. We had an M-class solar flare, still not much in the way of eruptive activity from the sunspot groups or the plasma filaments, although I am watching that filament you see north of the Earth scale. And here at Earth, we've got calming solar wind conditions as well as geomagnetic conditions. In 94 angstroms, focused on X-ray emission, you can see the crackling at the sunspots, but not the high energy flare production like the X-class burst we saw the day before. And then, in 304 angstroms, you can see the plasma motions, see that there is no eruptive behavior, just a prominence dancing at the North Pole. You having fun up there, buddy. Looking at the sunspots, we are obviously paying close attention as the incoming group continues its track towards center disk. It put out the big CME four days ago and yesterday morning, the X-class flare, but we are also monitoring the spots just ahead of it. There's a considerable amount of morphing and development there, and either one of these could develop a beta gamma delta region within them over the coming hours. We'll have eyes on it. Nice recap here of the polar vortex driven cold wave and subsequent heat wave at the end of last year. We smashed record cold, record snow, and then broke heat records on the tail of it. This continues the weather extremes and extreme shifts between them that we have reported, which we've been expecting based on the magnetic field impact to the jet activity and polar vortex. Really nice graphic here from the Earth Observatory detailing the event. Now we jump back in time, both in publication date and in the geophysical event. We have seen two papers in the last two years on magnetic reversal during the Great Dying, the end Permian extinction, and how the field strength dropped to 10% of what we have now, likely a major contributor to the extinction. Today, we see a paper describing the UV pounding taken by the biosphere during that event. And while they do look to more pin it on volcanic driven ozone destruction, we know ozone destruction is a major effect of magnetic reversals, which we already know took place during that time. These are pieces of the puzzle dressed up in costume, but there's no fooling an observer who puts the puzzle pieces together. Last but not least, folks on December 15th last month, there were two gamma ray bursts detected that they are saying were not gamma bursts. One was a cosmic ray impact during entry of the spacecraft into the South Atlantic magnetic anomaly, where the ongoing magnetic pole shift has left Earth's field the weakest, and the other is said to be caused by an M-class solar flare that day, which is a weird thing to see from such a minor flare event. Both in terms of solar emission and Earth's vulnerability, this makes two somewhat concerning data points back on the 15th of last month. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, take advantage of the 20% off everything deal at our Shopify store today, including our books on this ongoing magnetic disaster at Earth and throughout the solar system. It is the last day for that sale. Links are found below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.